Hi guys, welcome to Code Decode. So in the previous videos, we have seen the runtime of dynamic polymorphism, the example of that, and we have seen how to implement the dynamic polymorphism concept in Java by using overriding of methods and upcasting. But now today we are going to understand one more important concept that can we override or we can we provide dynamic runtime polymorphism concepts to instance members or data members of a class also or is it only and only that we can implement runtime polymorphism or dynamic polymorphism only and only with methods we are going to answer that question first secondly we are going to see if not then what happens if we try to access the parent reference variable with an object of child class and third objective of this video is to understand if that if uh, during upcasting if the child does not override a method then how can we achieve the runtime polymorphism is it uh, possible or is it not possible so let's get started and let's get find an answers to these three questions first so the first question says that can we achieve runtime polymorphism with instance variables so in the dog class i have an instance variable of type color so if i say the color as parent color fine now what i do in the child class i put the same instance variable here and i'll say child class child color in the child class so can you see that this is how i have instance variable with the same instance variable name so what does this cl uh, child class has this it has overridden method that is special capability and it is uh, instance variable with the same name but a different content same as the different content of this method so can you see something called as overriding here also we have taken the instance variable this complete same signature of instance variable but we change the content of it so do you think we can achieve dynamic polymorphism with instance variable also or we can just override it the method only and we can achieve in, uh, dynamic polymorphism only with overriding instance uh, methods but not with variables so let's try that in the main class i have a dog class i have a dog reference variable now i will again create the labrador thing for you so this is nothing but a labrador object so to prove the point let's do one thing this is called as upcasting right or dynamic polymorphism now with my dog reference i try to call my color what's the name of that thing that was color so i'll go back i'll do color and i'll try to write the ten see so why because it's just a method now it says it gives me some error why because it's okay it's private now what i'll do i'll do it as public now i'm trying to provide it overloading overriding hence what i have to do i have to put it as public here also what does overriding says the complete method signature should be same or complete signature is same for color also it's also public string and in dog also it is public and string so now does that still have issues no it does not my issue goes goes away so now if i try to run it now as of now i don't need these two things i can prove the point that the method uh, overloading overriding can be done and you can achieve dynamic polymorphism only and only with methods you cannot do that with the instance variable so if it was possible then the color of child that is child color should be printed let me run it for you but it says parent color only so this answers my two questions the first question can we achieve dynamic polymorphism that is calling the instance variable with the parent reference but child object should call the child method or the child instance variable but it does not it only calls the parent color or parent instance variable hence you cannot achieve 
द रन टाइम और डायनेमिक पॉलीमोर्फिजम विथ इंस्टेंस वेरिएबल्स और डेटा मेम्बर्स यू कैन ओनली एंड ओनली इम्प्लीमेंट डायनेमिक पॉलीमोर्फिजम कंसेप्ट इन जावा यूजिंग मेथड्स एंड हाउ कैन यू डू दैट यूजिंग द टू कंसेप्ट दैट इज ओवर राइडिंग एंड अपकास्टिंग सो दिस आंसर्स माई टू क्वेश्चन द फर्स्ट कैन यू अचीव इट विद डेटा मेम्बर्स नो यू कैन नॉट सो सेकेंड क्वेश्चन आई रिजर्स वॉट विल हैपन इफ आई ट्राई टू कॉल द रेफरेंस वेरिएबल्स ऑफ पेरेंट क्लास but the object of child class with that reference variable if i try to call the instance variable which is common in both child and parent then the whatever instance variable you have uh, whatever uh, reference variable you have the instance variable of that class only will be called so if i have a reference variable of dog class my dog reference uh, dog color is called if i have it the reference variable of labrador class then my labrador color or the child color is called so that is how the reference variable of whatever class you take the instance variable of that only class will be called but it is not the case with the dynamic polymorphism or the runtime polymorphism or overriding in java with methods if you have the instance variable of parent but the 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 memory is given to child then the child's method will only be called and not of the parent now the third important question arises what if my child does not override the method itself so this is my child class like rebrador what if it does not override it i comment this so does that give compile time error no it does not give me compile time error so can you see i have given the memory to child class and i'm pointing to reference variable of parent class but this particular child special capability is not present in the child class so what will happen i'll run does i i don't have this athletic dog capability method so what happens the parents dog bark scape special capability is called so it is not necessary that you override it if you don't override your method and you call with the reference variable of parent class then the method of parent class itself is called because labrador does not have your overridden method so this is the case when you don't uh, override or when you don't uh, remember to override or you forget to override your method then the parent will handle that mistake for you it will give the result of your his own method so that you cannot get any kind of errors so this was the three important questions can you override uh, can you override the instance variables or data members you cannot hence you cannot implement runtime polymorphism with data members secondly you cannot uh, if if you cannot if you don't override your method what happens the method of parent will be called and third important question that if even if you don't have uh, the child reference still the instance variable of parent will uh, will uh, call the instance variables of the parent class itself even though whatever kind of uh, memory you have given though it is a child though it is a parent but instance variable will also be called for whatever class you have created the reference variable what is reference variable this particular thing is known as reference variable the pointer pointer to your uh, memory so that was all about the question can we implement runtime polymorphism with instance variables or data members the answer is no thank you